G'day guys, welcome to this episode of Aussie English. Today I want to talk to you about 11 different words that native speakers say incorrectly and why you should be saying them incorrectly too. Let's go. So often spoken English is different from how it's written and the reason this occurs is because we're trying to convey ideas by speaking, obviously, as quickly as possible. And a lot of the time correctly pronouncing these words doesn't lend itself to speaking quickly. So a lot of the time sounds change, letters are removed or syllables are removed from words. And I do this all the time, native speakers do this all the time in English and I'm sure it happens in your native language as well. So today we're going to go through a list of words that I would say that are reduced down that I think you should say as well to sound like a native. Let's go. All right, number one, clothes. Clothes. This is even hard for me to say, especially when speaking quickly. I'm wearing a lot of clothes. So often this one will actually get reduced down to just clothes. No TH. The TH is turfed, it's thrown out, it's removed, it's ditched. Bye bye TH. Close. And it sounds like opening the door and then closing it. Close. Number two, asked. Asked. This one, there's quite a few different consonants in there. Sked. It's very difficult to say quickly, so we often get rid of the K. Asked. I asked him. I asked him a few times. What did he say? I don't know, but I asked him. I asked. Asked. Number three. Exactly. Exactly. This one gets changed as well, where the T gets removed this time. It gets ditched, thrown out. It's too hard to say exactly, so we just get rid of the T and we say exactly, exactly. Is this right? Yeah, that's exactly right. That is exactly right. Number four, properly, properly. This one, again, too many syllables. Properly, properly. Do we speak properly when we're speaking quickly? No, we speak Properly. <laughs> properly. Same thing happens here in number five, probably. This one, again, too long, we get rid of one of those syllables and we say probably. It's probably not correct to say probably. Probably. Number six, library. Oof, library. It's very weird to say library. This one can be either you can say library or you could just say library. I'd probably just say library. I'm going to the library. I've asked Dave and he said he's going to the library. Is that true? Exactly. Number seven, February. February. This one's sort of like library. There's two R's in there are a bit weird. So this one is going to be said as February, February. I'm going to the library in February, probably. I'm not sure, but yeah, probably. Number eight, laboratory. Again, too long. Cut that stuff down. Laboratory or even just lab. But in this case, laboratory. I'm working in the laboratory. Number nine, cupboard. No one, no one anywhere would ever say cupboard, cupboard. There's two consonants in there, the P and the B, and we just say the B. Cupboard, cupboard. I'm gonna open the cupboard and I'm gonna put my library books in the cupboard properly, but I need to make sure that they're arranged properly. Number 10, chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate. It's actually spelt kind of weird. Chocolate. Chocolate. But this I would say as chocolate. 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 And I think most native speakers would say that as well. Chocolate. You wouldn't say chocolate. Too long. Chocolate. Number 11. Different. And this goes for difference as well. We would just say different or difference. What's the difference? 
Eh, I can't tell the difference. There's no difference. It's the same. They're not different. And I'll give you a bonus one. Number 12, Wed Nez Day. Oof, this one, it's so weird. I know, Wed Nez Day. No one would ever say it like that. This isn't even a matter of contracting it down to something that's said incorrectly. No one would say Wed Nez Day. I do say this in my head when I'm trying to spell it, but when I'm speaking, it's just Wednesday. Wednesday. So I hope you liked that episode, guys. Try and learn to say these correctly, obviously, but practice saying them incorrectly like a native as well, because it will allow you to blend in and sound a lot more like a native. Good luck, guys. Keep at it. Peace out. Thank you.